Sorry. Sorry, I went crazy there for a minute. I went crazy. What do you have to say? Welcome to NTT Resort, Hotline's biggest apartment building turned hotel. Okay. Whether you're here for a night or still live live here, MTT Resort prides itself on it on a great stay. Just passing through? Nice. MTT Resort prides itself on being passed through. <laughs> uh, that's funny. In its own little way. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I'm not gonna be home tonight. Um. I think there's some cold pizza in my treasure hoard you can heat up. <laughs> uh, these monsters are weird. <laughs> weird looking. Zerva goes straight up to the capital, but it stopped working. The hotel's doing its best to accommodate everybody. Stuck here. As a slime, I'm outraged. <laughs> Elevator, okay. Hmm. Okay, in the last part, we dealt with something. Oh yeah, we dealt with um, okay, right, um, like, we're continuing on, um, now we have to deal with this MTT resort. A little bit more stuff to do. Yes, we know, the elevator to the city is not working. This is incident, rooms are running at a special rate. 200 gold, a room. Interested? Yeah, why not? Fabulous. We'll escort you to your room. Hehehehe. <laughs> <laughs> this is just something I wanted to do. <laughs> uh, you know what? I'd do the same thing if this there was this large of a bed that I could sleep in. <laughs> okay, let's just get out of here. Oh, I landed out of bed. Let me crawl back in. It's some sort of giant bottle of perfume. Eau de rectangle. The cap is comically large. You can't open it. Oh. Oh, oh, that's the cap? I thought that this was like, um, a lamp or something. Okay. Well, 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 no, well. Well, that's the end of this. This was just a little small excursion, really. Ooh, room service. Got my CT? No. Then? Okay, Jesus. Ooh, room service. Got my Cinnabon? No. Then? You hear shuffling. Seems like you could put no put. Okay. Seems busy. Poor guy trying to clean up this mess. Ooh. Learning how to draw? Come to art lessons on the second floor. Located in a similar place. Okay. Okay, well, hmm. Let me check something. I don't have any more CT or Cinnabon. I think I know what I could put down in that place. Like, uh. Hold on. National box B. I'll put the snow, mandin, instant noodles, spider donut, junk food, and this. Where's the. Oh, here it is. There it is. Okay, I think I can put a dog salad under the third door. Hold it. Hold up. Oh. 
actually didn't notice this, actually. You guys hear that, right? Like, the tune of this place sounds like the Undertale theme. Like, dun dun dun. Wait, no. Dun 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 Like, it has that particular tune to it. Oh, that's interesting. Either this whole area is a tune different from Undertale's theme, but slightly different, or it's the same theme, except played in different parts. Like, I'm not saying that's a bad thing, because, like, I know for a fact there are some other games that do this, honestly, so I'm not judging it. So that, that's pretty cool. I'd never noticed that before. I like the theme of this place. It's just I don't stay in like one place in this place long enough to hear it or eh, I don't pay attention to it too much. So let's see. You hear shuffling. Seems you put a dog residue. Hmm? Wait, what? Well, since I have it, might as well... Okay, then. Okay, let me try this. Let me try this again. God dang it. Okay, give me a minute. Hold on, give me a minute. Let me let me test this out, okay? Well, okay then. <clears throat> anyway, let's see. Um, that was a waste of time, and a waste of everyone else's time, damn it. Anyway, let's at least um, get the snow piece back, and eat some noodles, the spider donut, the junk food, and uh, abandoned quiche. Okay, there we go. Well, that was pointless if I've ever done anything pointless ever. <sighs> okay, let's see. Up there? No. Down there, no. Let's, um. Oh, yeah, I remember this place. Uh, I actually do want to go here. Give me a second. Let me. I'll eat the dog salad in a bit. Uh, but. How's it going? Sorry. <laughs> it's against the rules to talk to customers who haven't bought anything. Okay, I'll buy something. Uh, Starfay. Shape in, in the shape of. Steak in the shape of Metaton's face. That actually kind of sounds good. Uh, at least a steak. Jesus Christ, these things are expensive. Hero Sandwich. Attack up and battle heals 20, 40 HP, 60 HP. I definitely want that sandwich. Or that steak. He heals uh, 27 HP, very popular food. Star Fae, very popular... Oh, wait, oh, very popular food. Uh, it's about less, but it's, it's a lot. How can I help you? Yeah, why not? Oh, oh, oh. Thanks. Have a fabu, fabu, fabuful day. Jesus. Uh, so, do you want it or not? Sorry. <laughs> okay, like, <laughs> the customer is always right. <laughs> okay, yeah, the hero sandwich is up there. The Starfay, the glitter burger. Oh, yeah, glam burger, right. And the steak. Okay, uh, let's talk now. By the way, this guy is named Burger Pants or so. He'll explain it in a bit, but... What? Why do you keep trying to talk to me? I'll get in trouble if I get chummy with the customers. Sorry. <laughs> this guy is very expressive in this game, and I kind of like him. Uh, he's one of my favorite shopkeepers in the game. I really do like him. So, I wanted to be an actor. <laughs> Take it from me, little buddy. Life advice. I'm getting on in years, so let me give you some advice, little buddy. You've still got time. Don't live like me. I'm 19 years old and I've already wasted my entire life. 
<laughs> I, I like this guy. Uh, he's me at this point. <laughs> That's sad to think, but he is me at this point. Uh, listen, I like you, little buddy, so I'm going to save you a lot of trouble. Never interact with the with attractive people. Unless you're one of them. They're just going to take advantage of you. <laughs> like that time those two chicks asked me to sneak them some glam burgers. And I, naive teenager that I was, said yes to them. Bad idea. Tell me the glam burger story. So I went out to the alley to see those two ladies and, you know, see what happened. Next. Then my boss um, saw me and asked me what I was doing. I so startled the hamburgers in my pocket tumbled out onto the ground. Not wanting to lose face, I scrambled to pick them up. But as I was leaning over, the weight of the remaining hamburgers caused my pants to fall down. Then the girls laughed at me. Everyone calls me Burger Pants now. Ooh. <laughs> I don't know this guy's real name, unfortunately. We only ever get his name as Burger Pants, which is kind of bad. But let's see. How about Metaton? When I first came to Hotland, I was it was my dream to work with Metaton. Turned out to be bad, right? Usually these types of things always turn out bad. Well, be careful what you wish for, little buddy. Why is Metaton bad? God, have you even looked around? This place is a labyrinth of bad choices. And every, tr every time we try to change something for the better, he vetoes it and says, That's not how they do it on the surface. <laughs> right. Oh, right. Humans are always eating hamburgers made of sequins and glue. Ugh, that's disgusting. But why do people find him so attractive? He's literally just a freaking rectangle. You know, one time I bought one of those uh, kits online to... Uh, make myself more rectangular they don't work <laughs> usually those types of th stuff never work online future what future nothing down here ever changes I'm probably trapped at this stupid job forever but but wait there's one thing that keeps me going if Asgore gets just one more soul we'll finally get to go to the surface it'll be a brand new world there's got to be a second chance out there for me for everyone. So stay strong, little buddy. When I make it big, I'll keep you in mind. Well, thanks, Burger Pants. Anytime, little buddy. Actually, I'm gonna help you out. Let me actually ask the girls there. Because you'd think that with just talking to Burger Pants, that'd be it, but actually, if you come back to Caddy and Braddy, yeah, they actually get a new dialogue tree with uh, Burger Pants in mind. Oh, that guy from the store? Yuck, what a creep. Yeah, he's a creep. But he's kind of cute, too. Come on, Caddy. Don't have any standards. Nope. Uh, more about Burger Pants. Okay, like, the annoying thing is, he'd be okay if he just treated people, treated us with some respect. To be fair, you kind of got him in, you got him his nickname in an unfair way. And you asked him to sneak food for you. So, I'm pretty sure it's not that you guys need to, uh, he, he needs to respect you guys. But you're both wrong in this situation. But he just acts really weird. And then acts like it's our fault he acts that way. Like, when we asked him to get those lemurs, he dropped them and ran away before we could even say anything. We were, like, going to share them. Really? I wasn't. <laughs> Caddy. Huh. Okay, let me see if uh, that helped Burger Pants. Uh, opened up another thing for Burger Pants. Because, um, usually whenever you, when you do talk to Caddy and Braddy, something opens up. At least it's supposed to. Okay, Caddy and Braddy. The girls were talking about me. And they say I should stop acting like they owe me. And if I want to be friends with them, I should just try to see things from their perspective. Wow. Poor naive little buddy. They brainwashed you. <laughs> okay, I, I didn't really get that from what they were telling me somewhat. But I will admit, maybe that's what they meant. I'm not sure, actually. Friendship is just a hot person's way of making you their slave. So, uh, what time would they want to hang out? Anything else? Anytime, little buddy. Okay, I'm helping Burger Pants here. I really want to help him here. Okay, hold up. Let me go back to Caddy and Braddy. Let's see what they have to say. Burger Pants hang out? Oh, uh, yeah, he should come look for junk with us. But, like, if we let him hang out with us, I just worry it'll be really super fun. That was not what I was going to say. But I was close, right? 
that kind of guy. Well, that kind of guy. You hang out with once, and then he wants to hang out all the time. Don't you feel bad for him, Brady? Poor Burger Pants. Think about how cool we are compared to him. We'd be saving his life with our friendship. And that's exactly what I meant. Like, I didn't get that from them, and here it is. <laughs> I'm not saying they're bad people, it's just I think they're a little bit more self-absorbed <laughs> than anyone else. Although Burger Pants isn't that great either, but he's at least a little bit better. It's life, Braddy. Uh, so? Think of all the clippers he could give us. So, he is free after work. Uh, let me go talk to him. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, yeah, let's go talk to him. What can I do for you, little buddy? They want to hang out after work? Ha! <laughs> yes! I won't let you down. Little buddy, thank you. You've brought a tear to, <laughs> to the eye of this old man. So, uh, where do they want to go? The junkyard. In Waterfall. They want to hang out at the garbage dump. Well, now nowhere to go but up, right, little buddy? <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, I feel kind of good actually helping that guy out. Oh yeah, by the way, I said in the last part I'd be grinding for money. Yeah, I decided not to. Because, at least not now, because I wanted to do this. And, uh, okay, just checking. And also because, well, the next place is going to offer a lot of money. So I'm able to get money there somewhat. Uh, at least enough to deal with everything else, I think. Actually, hmm, hmm, maybe I could do something. Hold up. It's more of, maybe I should get that CT and that, um... That CT and that Cinnabon. Cinnabunny? Yeah, Cinnabunny. And maybe that'll help. Hold up. You know what, maybe I'll, I'll do that and then, and then I'll go and grind for money. Let's go to Snowden first. So, yeah, in the next part, I'll try to uh, get um, going and doing the thing. The water's very dry today. <laughs> so, I'll try my best to, you know, do that. So, you know, there's that at least. Come again sometime. Hopefully, you're still here when I get here. So, thanks. Anyway. <laughs> let's see. Um, actually, yeah, let's go this way. Because technically, it's quicker. At least by comparison. Oh, hey, Undyne. Yeah, why not? Why not talk to you? Hey, punk. Hey, punk. What's up? Achoo! Virus, how can you stand this cold? I have no skin. So why don't we stand in Grillby's instead? Because I hate grease. But you don't have a stomach. No, but I have standards. I'm so glad you and Undyne are friends now. You two go together like pasta and burning. In your line of work, I could believe that. But yeah, actually, no. I, I think a comedian put it best in... Um, I think a dog puppet actually put it best when he said, Oh, we go together like peanut butter and whatever punches peanut butter in the face. <laughs> uh, that's basically our relationship. <laughs> so, thanks, Pyrus. I'm glad you, you can say that, I guess. Let's see. Um, I definitely want to get the key, but first, uh, let's... Cinnabon? Okay, here. Thank you. Hmm. I could buy, like, manly bandanas and gloves and then sell them to Timmy for a profit. I think. And, uh, nah. Like, you see, it's technically slightly a little bit less longer to go uh, all the way down, so I think this works. I don't, know, I don't know. And honestly, I'm not sure. But all I really have to do is just go to a waterfall now. Hold up. Hey, look, the boat's a dog now. Uh, I, I'm not sure whether or not it is random or quick, but anytime I use the um, water ferry guy, the ferry guy's boat, it's only been, like, uh, once or twice that... Um, Humans, monsters, flowers. Huh. 
Okay, well, that's odd. Anyway, it's only been like once or twice I've ever gotten it in um, in my entire playthrough of Undertale the last time. But that was um, that was like uh, like the spaces between them were so far apart. It kind of happened like within a month or later. Well, it's like uh, like it was at the beginning when I first met the guy, all the way towards the end of Asgore when I needed to get to different places and grind for stuff. But that was like hours upon hours before that. So you know. Oh come on. Uh, uh, oh right. It's literally garbage. <laughs> can, can you give me the CT? Thank you. Be careful out there, kid. <laughs> I will, I will. But thanks for your concern, old man. Okay, now go to Hotland. Hot Wheels. Mm -hmm. Anyway. Mm -hmm. Anyway. I don't know what that was. <laughs> Try la la. The water is very wet today. Okay. You said it was dry earlier. <laughs> so what is it? Is it dry? Is it wet? Is it humid or is it cold? It's a dry heat. Screw you. A bonfire is a dry heat. But you don't see me sticking my butt in that. <laughs> Sorry, I, I remember that from a, a Jeff Dunham sketch. Sketch. Sketch? Yeah, sketch. Um, and that's something I do want to mention. I actually do like that comedian to a degree, I guess. I understand, like, eh, some people might not find him funny, and you know, some people might find him a bit weird and that stuff. But I think he's alright. I don't know. That's just my personal opinion. Oh, right, right, right. Okay, I was thinking, like, okay, where was I going to put this stuff? Okay, here we go. Ooh, room service. Got my CT? Yeah, here we go. Huh? That's just the way I want it. Here's a tip. You got 99 gold. Ooh. Ooh, room service. Got my Cinnabon? Yeah. You flatten the Cinnabon until it's paper thin. You slide it under the door. Huh? That's just the way I want it. Here's a tip. You got 99 gold. Huh, okay. I made a little bit of a profit. Not too much profit, but still profit. I think there's a way to get it so you can um, get money from this door, the weird one, but I'm not sure what it is. But, uh, either way. Oh, Jesus. Like, the screen froze up there again. Star Fae, Snowman Piece, and some noodles. I'm just double checking. Okay, I got the cooking set. Okay, I'm just double checking. Let's see. Mm. Hold up. There is one thing I'm trying. There's one thing I do want to check real quick. Yeah, and I know it's kind of boring seeing me do this, but I kind of want to pad out the time, at least for this episode, before I do anything else. So, let's... Thank you. The, the the weird thing is like it goes left and right, so I'm assuming the uh, what do you call it? The way it travels is going through an X Y pattern, an axis pattern. Like it goes up and then shoots to the left, like in an H sort of fashion, which is interesting of an elevator design, although it's kind of complicated. Tra la la. The waters are wild today. That's bad luck. Ooh. I will say, okay, this is definitely weird how I'm getting the dog face more so in this entire, like, playthrough. I just had it, like, in a few minutes ago. Jesus. I am using the, the, the thing a lot. It's just I don't expect it to be used this much. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, I know Temmie Village is around here somewhere. Hold on. There we go. Here it is. I was starting to wonder, like, okay, I know it's, it's it has to be around here somewhere. Hopefully I'm not too far off. Here we go. Eh, here, here it is. Let me check. Okay, Tough Glove and Manny Bandana are usually 50 bucks. Uh, Mandana? Mandana. Uh, oh, that's, that's a good nickname. Mandana! 
Let's see. Mandana for 50. I could have sworn it was for 100. Hmm. Maybe that was the other stuff. Boy. Hmm. Okay, never mind then, I guess. Well, that was a waste of time. Oh well, I'm not going to be doing much in this episode anyway. I kind of forgot that I needed to grind for money, or at least I wanted to grind for money, so I forgot about that. So, yeah, I'll be grinding for money in the next episode, I guess. It's, uh, or at least for this, not the next episode, after this. After this episode ends, so there's that at least. I'm trying to think if there's something I can do to pad out the time a bit. Maybe? Um, oh, wait. Actually, let's uh, call Papyrus and uh, Undyne here, because they actually have some information that's interesting. Hey, that's the store of... Garrison, the Hammer of Justice, toughest monster that ever lived. He fought in the war between humans and monsters, and he survived. He's a real hero. Are you gonna buy something? It, uh, <laughs> what are you plugging him? <laughs> are you plugging uh, for him or something? Uh, that, that's kind of funny. That's interesting. So uh, yeah, that's who that guy was, Garrison. That's why I call him Garrison sometimes. I think I might have referred to him as that. So that's him. So that's interesting. That's Napsa Blue. That's Napsa Blue's house. They kind of keep to their self, to their self, but that's a good that's a good ghost. I try to be a good neighbor, but I think they're scared of me. Come on, what's scary about a good nature and invite to wrestle? Everything. They're in corporal anyway. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you're hanging out with Naps Blue. That's great. I haven't seen them hanging out with anyone since, well, their cousin. They would uh, both watch TV uh, at all hours of the day. And then they would practice those weird performances. Where'd they go? Hmm. Don't feel like you have to live up to their cousin. Just be your lovable old garbage self. Okay, well, thanks. I'm gonna keep working on the mixtape. It's empty. Oh. Okay, just double checking. Oh, that's my TV. There's a show I like. I watch on it sometimes. Okay, just double checking. Naps Blue's family used to run this farm, but uh, they've all passed on to different jobs since there's not much business here. Them and their cousins stayed behind to run the, with the family farm. But no one's seen their cousin for a long time. Now Naps Blue's all alone. Be nice to them, okay? Cherish this ghost! <laughs> uh, words to live by. Words to live by. You know what? There is something I can show, actually, for this episode. This quick travel dunk. I didn't show it, like, at all in the last... Well, not the last one. In one of the other times I did this. Well, like, the first time I mentioned it, but I didn't do it. Mainly because I didn't want to. I didn't think it was necessary, or I just didn't feel like it. So, hey, why not do it now? Okay, just do it. This little bird wants to carry you across. Except the bird's often get it right. Such epicness. He's trying his best. I will admit, this little ducky or bird, whatever it is. I call it a ducky because I want to. Anyway, it's really strong, actually. Seriously. That was a few solid minutes of nothing. <laughs> but thanks, little birdie. Okay, hold up. Let me uh, double check something. Well, I'm glad the guy stayed behind to do that punch card thing. I know you could have done it and it would have been helpful, but I kind of forgot about it. 
Well, I didn't forget about it, it's just that eh, you can't do it anymore, so, man, eh, it's a shame. Okay, just carry me across again as I end the episode. Or just, I'm not gonna talk. I have no idea whether or not this stuff is bi uh, the bioluminescent uh, water is bad for you if you touch it, but eh, whatever. Anyway, that ends this episode of Undertale. I'm sorry if this was just completely filler. Uh, nothing but useless filler. But eh, I couldn't really think of much what else to do. Anyway, I'll see y'all next time in the next video until I actually get some money. So, see y'all next time, my bots. Take care.